Welcome to the Elite Daily Show. I'll have a Bud Light line. And freeze. Has this ever happened to you? You're at a bar, you're on a date, you're about to order a drink, and your inner douche comes out. You know you need to make an impression, but this type of place probably doesn't even have Bud Light line. You don't know what to do. So you start ordering what you used to drink in college, or what you think you remember somebody ordering on TV. Pina colada? In November? Mm. You should be ashamed of yourself. Pretty soon, you're down the street at a sports bar, throwing back Jaeger bombs and kamikaze shots by yourself. So sad. I'm Rose O'Shea. I'm Carl Hess, and this is an intervention. You have a drinking problem, and the problem is, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so, Garrett, what, uh, what exactly goes into just a proper cocktail? Well, a good drink it consists of uh, three different components, like fresh ingredients, you know, proper technique, and proper glassware. Do you have to have a mustache to make a proper cocktail? I hope the not. The public must know. No, if you see too much of this, then you're not going to okay. get a very okay. good drink. Now, what would be a classic cocktail that we would go to. There's one cocktail that is a very easy go-to. Okay. Um, oh. This cocktail is called a Boulevardier. So for this particular drink, we're gonna do one ounce of whiskey. It could be rye or bourbon. Okay. One ounce of sweet vermouth. And one ounce of Campari. And add some ice. It already looks delicious. <laughs> He's just no jiggers. Eyeballing it. Which is another benefit. If you go to these high volume bars, uh, that do craft cocktails, you can find yourself waiting 15 minutes that for a drink. That is true. This happens. is something that's very easy to order. If your bartender can't make it less than a minute, you got a big problem. Luckily, there's always like weird things on the walls to look at at these fancy very bars true. while Lots you're waiting. Things. You're like, oh, there's a golden bird cage. I can look at that while I wait for my drink. So this is a Boulevardier. Boulevardier, yes. Looks gorgeous. And it was a litmus test for our bartender. Mm -hmm. So if I like this, I keep drinking here. Mm -hmm. Or if they know how to make it, because that's a love or hate cocktail. And you bring out a stopwatch and you say, you have a minute. Okay. <laughs> Give it a try. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's mm. great. Mm. The, uh, that the is more delicious. Of a cop they'll be. Okay, so what, speaking of ordering too much alcohol right off the bat, because it's so delicious, what are some other big mistakes, classic mistakes that people make at the bar? As a patron, the best thing you can do is to walk in, never say what's good, right. make me your favorite thing to drink, because chances are I'm going to make, that's one of my favorite cocktails, and a lot of people aren't going to like that. It's not about us, it's about you having a good time. What about like you're on a date, you know, you don't want to do a classic order mm -hmm. like a Manhattan, but you want something. Maybe like impress them a little bit, but also sound a little knowledgeable. Like what's a good go-to? Uh, I think the last word would probably be a good idea. Okay. This is a, a gin cocktail with green chartreuse, which is a herbaceous, high octane. Uh, I love liquor. saying the word herbaceous. It's about, it's about 110 proof. One ounce of gin. Now I like gin. I love gin. This is a great cocktail that is both refreshing and complex. It's boozy and it's got a lot of stuff in it that by themselves people probably wouldn't like. Right. Um, but on its own. One ounce of green chartreuse. Green chartreuse. One of the oldest uh, liqueurs wow. ever made, second to Benedictine. Very First cool. distilled in 1605 by Carthusian monks. Those monks, they know what they're doing yeah. when it comes to booze. And this is one ounce of Luxardo. This is a bitter cherry liqueur. Great addition to any home bar. Um, relatively cheap, but adds like, cool. a cool nice hint of bitter. Yeah, it's got yeah, straw it on it. So we're gonna shake this guy up. This can be served uh, up or on the rocks. Okay. That looks gorgeous. Look at that color. And that is a last okay. word. Last word. Keep in mind, this is honestly probably a towards the end of the evening cocktail. Is that why it's called the last word? Because it's like you have this. There's an element of yes. Then say and no then, more. And then you go home and make terrible mistakes. But that drink looks good. It looks good with your nail polish, and that's what's important. Oh, okay. So that's sublime. That's so 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 good. I myself love gin, but it winds up being really sweet. Mm -hmm. Even though you were saying, you didn't really add anything sweet to mm -hmm. it. Yeah. So what's that? That's magic. But yeah, it's magic in the uh, in Luxardo. So what are like some cool things I could buy for my home bar that level me up and make me look pro, like a mm -hmm. connoisseur, like I know what I'm doing, up like the I bar game. don't just eat cereal in a bowl over the sink. It's almost screamingly easy, and a lot of people don't do it. You get a large 32 ounce uh, tin. Okay. It's shiny. You it's can shake it and show off your bicep. Get a tiny uh, 24 ounce tin. Uh -huh. And this is called a Hawthorne strainer. The important part of a good cocktail is following a recipe. Um, you don't do it. You don't us do amateurs. It. You we need it. the help. We need the yeah. guidance. This is for Let's you. Let's do it. Midday drinking. Let's go find other people okay. to talk to. Flavorful cocktail. Not each other. Because this wasn't a date. Because literally. I'm going to no stay one. here and talk to him. I want to get some tattoos. <laughs> 